All right, everyone, I am here with the one and only Yuya Kato, 10-time funded professional prop trader, maybe 12, I don't know, it seems like you're passing a new challenge every month, and uh, uh, really, <clears throat> Yuya is, uh, he's, he's humble, so he won't tell you, but he's one of the most successful Forex traders on the planet. He is uh, probably, actually, he is, in fact, the most consistent Forex trader that I've uh, I've ever come across or ever got to witness, and uh, so we're really thankful to have Yuya here with us. And in this video uh, and in this series, we're going to be talking about a few things. Number one is I want you guys to understand uh, who Yuya is and a little bit about his journey. The second thing is we're going to be talking a little bit about the Funded Trader Fast Track and what that program looks like, why Yuya is doing it, um, and how he's helping people, like lots of people, really have a breakthrough in trading. And then the third thing, we'll talk a little bit about his secret sauce, which is uh, what we call VRT or volume reaction trading and why it's different and why people are having breakthrough success with this. So Yuya, thanks so much for being on. Uh, my first question is like, how, how did this all come about? Like, like when was your first like introduction to trading and what was your desire at that point in your life? So growing up, um, I've always, you know, had a, had a vision and dream of, of taking care of my mom, you know, and, seeing her struggle, I knew that money was an issue. So I found many ways, you know, and I got into investing at a very young age, started doing stocks, you know, didn't do so well because every dollar, every cent really mattered to me. And every time I lost, I felt like everything was just going bad. So I got introduced to Forex by a friend that I was currently playing football with. And he was in a company called now, you know, I markets live back then, but it was a Forex education company. He was involved in it. And that was my first time that I started learning about Forex. And I got intrigued with Forex because of the thing called leverage. You know, um, my thousand dollars went a long way compared to my thousand dollars in the stock market. So I started getting intrigued. I started um, immersing myself into the education, spending countless of hours trying to do the best I can to learn this, you know, strategy really quick. And I'm a person, if I really want to learn something, I'm going to spend hours and hours and hours till I get it done. And that hours turned into five years, you know, so five years of me um, constantly putting a thousand dollars, $500 in small accounts, trading it and just, you know, constantly failing, 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 you know, blowing accounts. I've had spurts where I made, you know, a few thousand dollars, but at the same time, I lost it all because I would over leverage because my whole mindset was focused on making a thousand dollars into a hundred thousand dollars in weeks, you know, which is some people do it. You see it on YouTube and everything, but it's not a sustainable thing. It's not going to create consistency. So over those five years, I struggled. I spent thousands of dollars on, you know, education and like, asking people why I'm not succeeding. And a lot of them are like, no, you're doing the wrong strategy. You're doing this wrong. You're doing this. So I've learned every strategy, used every single indicator possible. And sometimes my charts were so messy because I used so much different strategies, you know? And the problem that I had was that I made trading, which is something a lot of people say is very simple into something very complicating. And that's what became very hard for me. You know, um, I'm a person that loves to simplify things. I live my life very simply and I should have done that, you know, but I'm fortunate that over those five years, I've, you know, went through all those trials and tribulations because I'm able to now relate to a lot of people and be able to speak that and teach that, you know, through my program and everything. And after five years, it wasn't until 2020 or 2019 ish, the end of 2019, where I moved to Japan being in this time zone, I was able to trade Asia, London, and New York. And I was just mentored by someone that, you know, was very successful in trading as well, too. And he was trading a big account. But the thing is, he focused just on one or two pairs, and he kept everything simple. And he, the best advice he told me was that a lot of people think you need to know all the technical analysis and all the strategies, but trading is 90% psychology and 10% technical. And once I started understanding that and started applying that into my trading, everything became simple. I became to grow confident in what I was doing. I knew everything, you know, like um, to be humble, like, yeah, I, 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 I tried, like I studied, I don't know, you can say 10,000 hours, you know, of just yeah. education and everything. And I put everything to it. So 
I, I believe that I knew a lot of the ways to trade, but I think the problem for me was I couldn't keep things simple. And once I was able to do that and reading the book, Trading the Zone by Mark Douglas allowed me to like realize that how important psychology is and how much it affects retail traders. And once I started realizing that, everything started flowing into my life and things like prop firms started to exist where I could use their money as a leverage, you know, to use my strategy and to get funded and to basically change my life through trading. And it, it's a seven year journey, five years of very hard, you know, struggles, losing a lot of money, you know, and it was it was hard. But I'm a person that does not love uh, like to give up at all. If I start something, I'm always going to finish it. And I just believe that trading is a great way to kind of start the life that you really want. You know, it's a kickstart, you know, and a lot of people, anyone can start it. And with these prop firms now existing, you just have a better opportunity with it right now. Yeah. So I, I love it. So taking you back. So you had this strong pulling motivation, right? Your mom's single mother? Were yes, you raised? Single mother. Yeah. Okay. You're raised by a single mom. And so you had this strong driving force, this pulling force, which we see across most people that are successful, right? They have this strong reason why. And I, I think your story is is what everybody goes through, right? Like people go through this journey and they're trying to figure all this out. They try all the different indicators, all the different strategies, they they blow accounts like like they go through all that. And then you have kind of this pivotal moment where you simplify everything down. I think that's what, you know, when we talk to people on the phone and all of the success stories that you've created, which we'll talk about in a second, but everyone appreciates how simple you make it. Like you, you, like you use one indicator, really, right? You'll use the Fibonacci and we'll talk about that later. And, and occasionally you move, use some moving averages, right? But that's it, right? You're, you're pretty much looking at things naked. So you, you've really simplified it. And then you know, you, you've been able to create this, you know, the, this skill set that, that nobody can take away from you ever, right? Like you have this ability to be able to make money in the markets whenever you want to, right? So we just uh, talk a, a little bit about that, like about like why mastering this one skill of trading is like, has given you so much confidence in your ability to create whatever it is that you want in the future. I think just the whole aspect of when you keep things simple, you can create consistency. And Forex has taught me a lot about life in a sense where if you really keep things simple and you can create consistency, like there's no, there shouldn't be a reason why you're not successful. And when I started to have that mindset and apply that into trading and like literally keep everything simple by having 27 pairs that I used to trade to just focusing on just one to two pairs and really just understanding why pairs move at a certain time. And just understanding it really well. It's just like me. I'm a football player. You you do film study, right? And you watch another team. The more you watch the other team, you, you find their tendencies. You're able to break down, you know, why they're going to do something. And that way you're more prepared once you're in, you know, in the game and everything. So same thing with Forex, you know, the more you study a pair and understand why it's moving at a certain time, you know how to react to it. And my my whole philosophy on trading is, Instead of predicting, let's react to the market because we're humans at this at the end of the day, we can't control the markets. We don't have billions of dollars to move the markets, you know? Yeah. So instead of predicting, we have to react to it. And using that mentality, I was able to just create this consistency for myself. And at the end of the day, like consistency is the most important thing in trading. You know, a lot of the times when we do lose, we kind of veer off from that consistency and we start doing bad habits, you know, and bad habits start just literally blowing accounts every single time. So just creating that consistency for yourself is the main like component that I try to apply to my trading. Right. And, and we're going to talk more about volume reaction trading a, a little bit later. Um, and about like, why, why are you so dang consistent? Cause I mean, we all see it. It's like, golly, I, at this point, I think you've been trading with us for maybe eight months or something like that. And it's like, how does this guy do it? Like, how is he so consistent? Right. And so we'll talk about that in a second, but more, more back to your journey, right? So you had this pulling vision. You, you went through all of the weeds to figure this out. You finally figured out your system. And then now like the, the fruit of that, what I think you've been fun, funded 10 times, is it now? Or Yeah. So I just recently passed another one. So I'll say 11, but okay, 11. yeah. And I think just that journey, you know, like I, yeah. I just, I literally, um, give thanks to psychology and like I'm a big component on psychology and yeah. it's it's just about weathering the storm and just being consistent and, and that's that's what's allowed me to you know be 
very fortunate to be able to pass these funded, you know, accounts and create funded accounts and to kind of use that money to put into live accounts and then make money from that. And then, you know, put into other investments as well too. So it's just a, these last two years have been very great. And um, I, I just believe that it, it was, you know, it was a way of me having to go through something very hard during those five years to actually, you know, the fruits of my labor right there. So that's what I put, believe, like I put in the work and now I'm actually, um, all my work is paying off at this current moment. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. So that, that's actually a perfect segue. Um, so let's talk about this, the second thing, right? Um, so what is the funded trader fast track? Because obviously you've, you've mastered it. We all see it in the discord. Um, we see it with the people that are copying your trades that are trading live with you. Like, like it's, it's clear that you can turn the MT4 into an ATM. You know, people talk about that, but like you've, you've got that down. What, what, what's the reason behind wanting to help other people at this point? Like, and, and, and what, what is the funded trader fast track and why are you doing it? So growing up, my, my mom has always told me like, focus on creating an impact, you know, like you are special. And I believe that I am. And I I believe everyone in this world has a gift. And I believe my gift is being able to connect with different people from all parts of the world. And I didn't really know what my name actually meant, you know, in Japanese until my mom told me when I was 21 years old. And from that day, I found my purpose because my name simply means that it's a bow and arrow that connects people from all different parts of the world together to to create something beautiful. And I, I just realized that I'm a person that loves meeting new people every day. And I felt like this, this trading aspect and this trading thing that I'm doing, I'm able to connect people from all different parts of the world. And this whole, um, the funded trader fast track basically is a mentorship where, you know, I, I hop on live calls. I help you guys with this psychology. I teach you guys seminars, you know, of countless of hours and what I want to do. And my whole purpose of this is to keep everything simple and just make you guys realize that trading is not a complicating thing. We overcomplicate it. And that's what we do. You know, um, we're humans. We overcomplicate everything. But if we can simplify it, we can create this consistency. And once you create this consistency in trading, I believe that we can definitely be profitable, you know, and that's my whole philosophy on it. And I want to be able to guide people through live calls where, you know, I'm breaking down charts live, um, speaking my mind about how I feel about certain pairs or, you know, after a loss, like how am I dealing with the loss and then taking trades together as a whole. And I feel like a lot of the times, like, we need added confluences by other people too. And that's why some people enter signal groups, enter all these different Discord chats or Telegram chats because they wanted that added confluence of another human thinking the same that uh, we do. So these live calls is like, if I find a trade that I like, I might take it. And then you guys might all have the confidence to take it as well as too. So it's just a, a community of people, a like-minded people that want the success and want this consistency and for me, I just want to keep everything simple. And like I said, 90% psychology, 10% technical. So my whole goal is to help you guys remove all your bad habits and create this consistency for yourself so you can succeed in the market, you know, just the way that I do. And then, you know, add it on top of that. We do have, you know, a copy trader that allows you to take the same trades that I take. And that that gives you just added comp- confidence that you can have one account working that way. And then another one while you're mastering this whole strategy and your psychology. Yep. I I love it. And in, you know, you mentioned that a lot of people will join signal groups, right? And there's hundreds of them. And unfortunately, the most of them are really not very good. Right. And I, I think one of the things that's really beautiful about this program, it is, it is a higher end program, right? Not just anybody's accepted in here and we have a, a in an interview and an application process because we do want to make sure that we're getting great people in here that are like, you know, top notch quality um, because you, you really become who you hang around. And for those of you guys that are watching, right, there's this power of the mastermind principle where, you know, if two or more minds come together with a singular purpose, then there forms this third invisible mastermind that's infinitely more powerful. And so we notice that when members are trading with Yuya on the morning in the live sessions, it's infinitely more powerful because it's everyone's looking, everyone has the strategy, right? They, they When you come in, you learn the strategy in four hours in the, in the first four seminars that you teach. And then the rest is just applying, right? It's, it's really simple. 
Um, so talk a little bit about like the, the power of like getting around a high level group and investing into uh, uh, coaching in order to shortcut success. So uh, I love the term iron sharpens iron, you know, yeah. and I feel like the whole goal of joining a mastermind group is being around like-minded people because I think when you surround yourself with people that have the same goals and visions as you, you're just, you just have to level up your, you know, whole trading game. And just like in sports too, the harder the competition, the harder you have to work and everything like that. So I believe that like, like, you know, this is just not an ordinary mentorship. Like I push you guys, you know, to your limits. And I think, my whole philosophy is like my mom has pushed my whole, you know, pushed me to my limits. I, I want to be able to help other people to push, um, push them to their limits too. You know? So I feel like 10% is the, you know, technical part of learning the strategy. You can get that all done in four hours, you know, no, like you can watch it over and over again, but 90% of it is psychology. And I feel like these live trading calls that I do is really more, more focused towards the psychology side because by then you should be able to lock in on the technical analysis part because everything is so simple, you know, and explained that way. So um, I think just by having a lot of people together that, you know, have the same common goal, I feel like we can, as a team, you know, be successful and create this consistency. And if someone is lacking or someone is struggling, you have other people that can, you know, also pick, um, pick them up as well too. And not just me, like my, my students become experts as well too, where, they, they might find, you know, trades that I didn't see because I'm not looking at the markets 24 seven. We all live in different time zones. And that's the beautiful thing that people look at the charts at different times, you know, and they might find different moves. They might find different pairs that they trade. So that's just another, you know, I guess you can say um, a, a tool in, in, in the whole mastermind where you have other people that have learned the exact way that I trade and master their psychology where you can take advice from them as well too. So it's just a whole group of people coming together and just creating this consistency so we can be all profitable together. Yep. And you know, the, the reason we call this the funded trader fast track is because look, you, you went through the crap for, for five years, like really intensely, like making it his life and like doing pretty much nothing else, but figuring out Forex trading and studying and taking trades and all this. And the reason we call it a fast track is because the, the people that join this program are literally going to have the ability to like cut through all of that, get it in four hours, everything that they need to know technically, and then trade live with Yuya, you know, copy his trades and the group or, you know, use the trade copier, you know, either way that you want to do it. And so that's the reason that we're pumping out success stories. Like, for example, like uh, Michael Sislo is one of my favorite, right? He's He's this guy, he's a dad, you know, he, when COVID hit, he started working from home and they said that he was going to have to go back to the office. And so he didn't want to. So that's why he joined the funded trader fast track for two years. He had been trying to figure out Forex, right. And he was unprofitable in the first six weeks of work, working with you. He was funded. And I think I heard, I, I heard he's funded like $500,000 now or something crazy. Yeah. And, and it's like, it's like stories like that. I mean, I, even just people that came into this program this last week, um, you know, I heard about this guy that had been, he'd been trading for like five years or something crazy like that. He gets on the live sessions with you. Like the very next day he joins the program, he makes 2.5%. He's like, wow, this is so easy. Like I've never found the consistency, da, 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 da. And um, so I think it's a combination of all those things that, you know, a part of the program that is really creating like some really awesome results uh, all thanks to you yeah so and it's just it's very like encouraging for me when i see people you know like just learning something and a lot of it is it's it's really them just mastering their psychology you know like for them just realizing that like i know what i'm doing i just have to have someone that's gone through like crap you know five years of just hardships and creating bad habits to just hear their story and just hear how they overcame it and what they did to overcome it so that I can go over that hump and become consistent and profitable. And just hearing stories of like how people just come in and just getting value from the live calls and just realizing that like, you know, um, I can make 2.5% in a day where I was losing 5% in a day, you know, I'm not over leveraging my account. I'm doing all these different types of things. So I think that's just the beautiful thing of this mentor mentorship is that we all come together and we see the success stories of other people. And then we get motivated by that. And it makes us feel accountable that we have to put in the work so we can get to where they're going, you know? So mm -hmm. it's just the accountability aspect 
which allows us to, you know, work even harder to create that consistency for ourselves. Yep. And by the way, if you're somebody that's watching this and you're struggling with the inconsistency or you don't want to spend five years dragging yourself through the mud, or maybe you already have, then then you may want to seriously consider applying to uh, be part of this program because I know there's a lot of there's a lot of BS that's out there, especially in the Forex market. There's a lot of guys that are just taking advantage of people, scamming people. And so one of the things that we feel so lucky about to have you, you're part of our company is the fact that he's he's a genuine guy. He actually gets results and he's actually helping people. Um, so we're we're really uh thankful for that. And you know, if you just take a look at it, right? Like we call it the funded trader fast track, getting fun, getting funded, passing a prop firm challenge. And that's, that's our, that's our thing. Like we're guaranteeing these results. Like we're guaranteeing, we help you pass a prop firm challenge, get funded at least a hundred thousand dollars and make $10,000 profit, which nobody guarantees that. And our guarantee works like this. If you don't, then we'll let you continue to copy trade you you for free until you do, which, you know, do you think if you copy trade somebody that done it 11 times at this point, you think you could have success too? Yeah, probably. Right. So, um, that's, that's, uh, about the funded trader fast track. So in this next section, really quickly, I wanted to talk about the volume reaction trading strategy, um, which I know is like your secret sauce. And will you take people back just really quickly about like, um, how did you find this? Um, why is it the secret to your consistency? And and what is it actually? It was it was crazy because it le- literally happened about a few years ago when I heard someone you know in an education like I think it was a YouTube video or I was watching a live call of somebody mentioning how much money it takes to move one pip on gold. And when I heard about that, I'm pretty sure it was like hundreds of million dollars to move one pip on gold. I realized that damn, my thousand dollars account can't do anything about that, you know. So like. Why am I trading when the market is not moving, you know, and like for us to really be profitable. And I think to help my psychology, I needed to get in and out of a trade a lot faster because waiting days, sometimes weeks, you know, for my trades to just hit TP was very frustrating. And like, you know, the whole aspect of trading is to create this time and freedom for yourself. You don't want to be glued to a screen. You don't want to be working a nine to five with trading. You know, that's not the whole point of it. So I cr- I didn't create this, but like, you know, I just decided to, you know, trade when the volume was presented to me. And that's the whole aspect of instead of predicting what the market is, let's react to it. So that's what we're doing with the volume reaction trading is that all we're doing is reacting to when the volume is going to be put into the market. So there's many times where, you know, volume is put in. We can think of London session and New York session. Those are the two highest volume trading sessions, you know, where um, markets and pairs are really moving at a higher speed than Asia session or when price is consolidating where it's not moving, you know, creating a range. So all I do is pre London, that's when I hop onto the screen, I identify my ranges and all I'm looking for is certain areas to break. And for areas to break, we need volume to break it. So all I'm waiting for is a support or resistance to be broken with what, what I call it engulfing candle. Engulfing candles indicate to me that the volume is in the market because these are big candles that move 10, 20, 30 pips within one candle. To me, once I see that kind of move, I have realized that the institutions, big, big money players are in the market. And that's when I want to be in the market because even though I enter a trade and my stop loss gets hits really quick, it's better than being stuck in a trade for days and then finally your stop loss getting hit because it's going to drain you psycho- uh, your psychologically, you know, and it's just going to affect you in the long term. So I'd rather be in and out of a trade really quick. And when volume comes, I usually have small stop losses and, you know, decent sized TPs where it gets hit either way really quickly and you're in and out of a trade that fast. And I think that's another way for me that I was able to create this consistency for myself is, you know what, I'm taking out the whole aspect of waiting for a trade to happen that I can just take a trade when the volume is presented to me and be in and out of a trade really quickly. And I'm just big on finding engulfing candles because that tells me when the volume is in the market. Plus I just identify ranges that need to be broken. And then I enter the trades after that. And this whole action is basically me reacting to the market instead of predicting it. I can go either way. And I just understand that. And then using tools like the Fibonacci to find the best entries and being able to put stop losses to that. Yep. And and I love it because what you said is 
majority of people, if, if you're struggling trading, the chances are you're trying to predict the market. And as we know, the markets are almost in a completely random walk, right? It's, it's tough to do. And so that's why I love this strategy. And I think that's why it's been a breakthrough for so many people is because it is totally different. You're not trying to predict it. You're just moving with the market. You're just reacting on what's happening with the volume. And another thing that um, I think is really great that at least, you know, I know I, 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 I copy trade you, right? Obviously. And, you know, I, I wake up and, you know, right after the session, I look and, uh, okay, I got, got my trade. You, you, you know, took the trade. Usually it's a, a winner, you know, and uh, uh, it, it, the, the thing that I think people would appreciate about your strategy is less time on the chart, not more time on the chart. So can you speak to that really quickly? Exactly. So my whole aspect is like, like I said, you know what, I want time and freedom from trading. So instead of like, you know, always being glued to the chart, you set consistent times that you hop on the charts. So that's the whole aspect of keeping everything simple and focusing just on one or two pairs. So you really fully understand why a pair moves and when it moves. So for example, I trade GBP, JPY, the, uh, the pound versus the yen. And usually though the times that moves uh, the market for GBP, JPY is London session. And for me, I usually hop on pre-London to identify my zones and to, you know, set my, set my lines and horizontal lines and zones for myself. So I'm prepared once the volume is put into the market. And for me, like I keep it simple, hop on 30 minutes before London, you know, and identify my zones. And once London opens and once the volume is put into the market, I enter and execute a trade, but I only give myself an hour. You know, if uh, the move does not happen in an hour, I say, okay, I'm done for the session. I'll hop back again on New York session and I'll do the same thing. Hop on 30 minutes prior and then spend an hour waiting for a trade to happen. If it doesn't happen, you know, I'm, I call it a day. So basically a total of three hours. And most of the time I'm trading during the middle of the week. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for me. So three times a week, you know, for three hours a day, that's about, you know, that's basically just nine hours a week, you know, and that's, that's a lot for me. Sometimes I might even go shorter because during that 30 minutes of me examining the market, I might find a trade right there. So it, it really is just keeping everything simple is by not staying on the charts so long, because once you start staying on the charts so long, you start seeing all these different patterns. You start going on lower time frames, feeling that you need to execute a trade. So creating this plan for you and creating this consistency is all about more time off the charts to focus on other things and what you enjoy. And then once you set yourself, you know, that time that you need to hop on the charts, just have that laser focus for that hour or that 30 minutes that you're on there. I, I love it so much. I, I love everything about your strategy. Less time, not more, making it simple, not confusing yourself, only trading, you know, two pairs really just seems like you just trade gold and GBP, JPY, right? Um, and I, I think that just all of that, just simplifying and, and just being in the market for a quick period of time, like get, I know, like I see your sessions, like you get in, get the money and you get out of there and you're done. You, you put away the charts. Okay. I'm not looking at this thing for another 24 hours. And, and that's all you need. And, and, you know, we coin it your one trade per day formula, but it's really like that. It's like, guys, if you're listening into this, imagine being able to make one great trade per day or maybe two and, and being done. And, and that's your life. If you're trading a hundred thousand dollar account, you know, and you just do five, eight, 10%, um, you're, you're living. Okay. You get a couple more accounts. You're really living. Um, so I, I love it. Um, you, thanks so much for uh, being on here. If you guys are listening to this video right now, by the way, uh, and, and you'd like to get some extra help and see what this is all about, then uh, go to fundedtraderfasttrack.com. Uh, we'd love to speak with you and see if this program would be a right fit. But once again, Yuya, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you.